So what we have here is a beautiful uh, 10 foot long, uh, 6 inch by 7 inch oak beam that used to be a part of a ceiling joist in the monastery. And it's going to get a new life as another project, and so I need to break it down. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to break down this massive board. First thing we need to do is remove all these little bits and bobbles that are here and there. And we can also take out, try to take out a lot of these nails. At this point, it's time to cut to length. Uh, now, I need a couple of pieces that are 30 inches and one that is 25 inches, uh, but because it is uh, rough wood as it is, I'm gonna give myself a little bit more on each side. So for the 30 inch pieces, I'm gonna cut out 35 inches, and for the 25 inch piece, I'll cut out 30 inches. And so I wanna mark that out now. We're certainly not worried about being too exact, but we want to try to follow as best we can. Now the next problem that we run into is, now I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that there's not any more nails in here. I think I've done a pretty good job of denailing it. At this point, you still don't know what necessarily is inside of this wood, and so you want to be careful when you're cutting it uh, with what tools you're using. Now, the fastest and probably easiest way to get a cleanest cut is to use your circular saw at this point, uh, but if there's a nail in there, that's going to rip this thing to shreds. And so to start out with, I'm going to use a, uh, what the heck is that thing called? Uh, so to start out with, I'm going to use a sawzall. And the blade on this is certainly not necessarily big enough to go all the way through, so I'm going to have to do a couple of passes with it. So as you can see, I did have to do a little planing on these boards. Uh, the reason for that is my bandsaw, which I'm going to be using for the resaw, has a six inch capacity. And these boards ended up being, well, anywhere between six and an eighth of an inch to six and a quarter of an inch thick at various points. So I needed to put it through the planer, get it down to, actually I put it about maybe a sixteenth of an inch under six inches so, uh, so that there's plenty. I don't have to worry too much about um, capacity of the bandsaw itself. At this point it's a matter of marking the thickness of the board and then resawing it through the bandsaw. Now the wood that I want in the end is going to be three quarters of an inch thick, but because I still have some milling to do with it, I'm going to cut it at one inch thick. After resawing on the bandsaw, I ended up with about 25 board feet of material, which is more than I need, but that's okay. Uh, I've got it stickered up in order to let it dry and continue to acclimate to my shop, and I don't want to take it to its final dimensions until it's had some time to dry out a little bit more after it's been cut, because there's some of this wood that's never been exposed to the air before, and so there can still be some cupping and warping, which is the reason why I did add a little bit more thickness to all of these pieces. So this is my process of reclaiming this old oak roof joist. So I do hope you enjoyed this video on breaking down this reclaimed wood. Uh, and if you did, please like and share it. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to check me out on social media. I'm Father Thomas. Thanks for watching. May God bless you.